Charles the Fourth, straight into story. Bohemia and Holy Roman Empire <laughs> had a long and successful reign. Did he now? The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. Awesome. Sounds good. Oh, he's dead. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. Yes. More than seven thousand people accompanied him on his last procession. Crikey. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. Really? But Wenceslas did not take after his father. <laughs> he neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. Mm -hmm. Eating berries by the looks of it. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did Good little to grief. To the Pope. Why would you do that? <laughs> Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Yeah. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate. Who oh, is that all? Then took advantage of the ensuing <laughs> disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. Hmm. It is here that my story begins. Oh, is that us? It could be. Ah, hello there! I'm AJ Puzzle for it, and welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance, which I've been wanting to play for a very long time, but haven't got around to it. So, uh, let's go with a new game. I don't think there's anything else to press here. So, yes, normal mode. I don't think I want to do hardcore mode. Not a chance. I would die immediately. So, hmm. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which had fl uh, flourished under the late Emperor Charles the O-Heck. Uh, the king's inactivity angered many of the nobles as... Oh, bother! I wish they would just put a thing in that made it so that you could press a button before it moved on. That would be wonderful. It really would. It would save me so many problems with reading things. There was a bunny. Ooh, wildlife. Brilliant. Nice river. Okay, I hope this is like the in-game graphics. Well, if it is the in-game graphics, it's probably going to murder my PC, but... But it does look pretty good. Silver Scala... 1403. Hey! Wow. This is nice. Kingdom come deliverance. This we know. If you find that you are playing it and you don't recognize the name by this stage, then you probably bought the wrong game. Cool. I once played The Witcher 3 at some point. I've never played... Well, I've played about two minutes of it and then it crashed. And I'm pretty sure that it shouldn't do that, so... Uh, I'll, I'll have to try it again at some stage. There's a lot of smoke on the hills. Hello there! Who are you? Are you me? You don't look like me. <laughs> Might not be. Um, nice house on the hill. It's kind of a... It's kind of a castle? Is that a castle or a fort? Maybe a fort. Hello! Is it? It's a warm one. Not here, it isn't. It's cold. <laughs> oh, it does look nice. Just look at that. I should have got around to this a long time ago. I really should. Well, husband, <laughs> how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Cool. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour... Blue-blooded idler. Well, <laughs> it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Oh. 
Go and get the lazy bones up then. Am I playing as Henry then? Clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like it. This is so nice. Just look at this. I'm very curious if this is in game or not. It could just be cutscene okay. graphics. Get up now. There's yes. work to be done. Okay. Yeah, I think this is us. <laughs> You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. The breakfast is on the table. I'm already up for this stage. Wait, what's this? Good question. Have you been Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. Uh -huh. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. I don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched was. myself is all. That's a lie, isn't it? Oh, just don't <laughs> be crying to me if you really do get hurt. Yeah. Now get up. You rogue. Yeah. Ooh, crack. <laughs> Are we in? It's very dark. Hmm. A fine state you're in this morning. Oh. What on earth did you get up to last night? Uh oh, I actually get to pick. Uh, character, by means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. Oh, joy. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characters can be further developed without, um, limitation. Yes. Okay. Uh, hmm. Uh, okay. We, uh, were chatting in the tavern speech. Agility. I was dancing. Now that makes that's. I, I kind of want agility, so I'm probably going to go with that. Uh, I, I was with Beyonce. Vitality. All right. Okay. Uh, I was working in the forge. Strength. Hmm. They're all lies, aren't they? Um. Agility seems like a good thing to have. So does strength and vitality. So let's go with agility. Dancing. Yeah. With Bianca. Oh, Bianca. Ah, okay. That's why you're tired. But you'll still have to work today. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that's a suspicious looking <laughs> character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Uh, why would I be interested in sword fighting? Uh, Matthias was teaching me archery. That's agility again. Mmm, tempting. Uh, I would, vitality again. Uh, what does it matter? Ooh, that is really not a nice thing to say. Uh, okay, well, I can't say that one because it's mean. Uh, Matthias was teaching me archery. I could do with vitality as well, though, couldn't I? No, it's just... Matthias was teaching me archery. And I accidentally archery. hit my hand. Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where do uh, you get no, a bow, anyway? Not really. <laughs> oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, Archery's yeah, cool. I like friend. archery. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Like, promise. damage my oh, hand promise. doing archery? <laughs> uh, I'd have to go to your father. Have my friends been here? Or oh, I'm hungry. Uh, my papa is angry at me. Uh, do you need help? Well, that's a good one. Do you need me to do anything, man? Ah, you're a good lad. Yeah. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Huh, okay. All right, I will end the dialogue. Let us walk somewhere else. Ooh, it's actually fluid in movement. Wonderful. My computer's not being murdered yet. This is a surprise. It really is a surprise. Anyhow, let's carry on. Hello there. Uh, how do I get through this door? Oh, E! E! Thank you. This is not the way out. I can't help but noticing I was led astray. Huh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright. Outside! Woo-ha! 
Compass! The compass will tell you where to go in the uh, quest you are pursuing. Just head for the active objective waypoint. Ah! Oh, wait, there's a B one over there. Uh, hmm, okay, fair enough. But look! There's so many things to look at! Why would I head straight to the thing when there's so many things to... Uh, well, I guess I'll go over there. I guess I'll do what I'm supposed to do. Do you feel quite hungry? Really? Well, you should have eaten before you left. Oh, wait! Didn't she give us our breakfast? Oh, I can't remember. If I was supposed to pick up my breakfast, then I forgot. So, no breakfast for me. Hey, you! You! Oh, talk to father. Okay. E At least you're up. That's a start. It is. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need awesome. your help. Okay. What? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. You got me some money? Yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not okay. to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him <laughs> to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? Hey, <laughs> that'll be fun. Oh, well, wonderful. you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and Wait, personally a... use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. This will be our fighting experience, won't it? Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasal. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. Got it. Yes. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see uh. that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Bianca. Right. So make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. All right. Go punch up chap and grab money. That's that's how it went, wasn't it? Uh, you can find all information about the quest in log and uh, for clarity they are also indicated on the map as well as on the compass and oh heck I didn't even get a chance to find out where the buttons were I think oh it wasn't L no L wasn't it L is turn around evidently why why would I do that I mean I can use the mouse I suppose it's interesting for you know not using the mouse but you know my mouse works, so I'm going to use the mouse. That's, that's how it goes. Oh, heck. There's got to be a map then, so there's a map. Ooh, this is a cool map. Just look at this thing. Wow, this is a ye old map. I love this. Wonderful. Okay, so... So... Uh, ah, okay, collect the depth, so there's C1. Can I, like, put a marker there? Oh, I can. X. X on the spot. There we go. Brilliant. Awesome. Hi. This. Whoa. That is the unsatisfying job for you because it just turned into a smaller pile than you had out there already. Wow. Look at this. This is so cool. I do believe a couple of people just appeared in 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 like from nowhere, but you know, that's my computer for you. <laughs> Everybody has speech bubbles over their head. How brilliant! It's like it's like being in a comic. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Oh, this is cool! It really does feel alive. It really does. Okay, where's this person? Is it you? Where's where's? It's you, isn't it? It's you. Yes, you. God be with you, Kunesh. Uh huh. What do you want? Money! Give me me money! Hand it over! Uh, that. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. Yes. I've got nothing. Clear off. Ooh. Pay for the tools, at least. Pay the lot or else. Pay for the tools, at least. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. Aye. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. 
Aha, uh -huh. persuasion. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goal. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which unfortunately I didn't choose, did I earlier? Uh, however, it is influenced by the reputation you have at that moment with the person you're talking to. In other words, that's not going to get me anywhere. Okay, in the Middle Ages, society status, social status was paramount. So the equali uh, quality of your attire and how well groomed you are together with the reputation can make a big difference in to people uh, responding to you. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more willing to assist risky tasks to you assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength, rats, and the deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment. So get good equipment and forget about the fact that I've not put anything in strength. But other things are also taken into account, such as blood strains on your clothes. Oh, blood stains. Ugh, dear. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. No, I can't. I'm totally broke. You just have to agree on a pursuit sum, persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping, see trade and haggling. In special cases, you can try any other skill, e.g. horsemanship. Eh? I will persuade you with my horsemanship. It's not only the manner of pursuit, uh, persuasion that's important, but also the specific offers. Okay, because sometimes it's not enough just to choose s according to your highest characteristic. You have to rely, really read what you're going to say. Okay, I'm going to read what I'm going to say anyway, because that's the way that you do things. Okay, so next page. Oh, there's a next page. Wow. There's a lot of writing here. Okay, but different approaches work on different people. You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily, and no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned a universal value, but compared with the abilities of his counterpart. You can see the values of the various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. You can also see your own ability. Your counterpart's abilities are visible to you if it's someone you know well or if you're skilled at reading people. So I've got to get skilled at reading people because this is going to be really handy later, isn't it? All right. So your money, your amount to pay. Okay. Total speech level. All right, which is probably low. Uh, total charisma skill level, okay. Again, probably low. Total skill level in strength and stuff. Again, low. Okay. It's not just about stats, though. The oncoming uh, outcome is influenced by other factors, e.g. your reputation, whether you're dirty or bleeding, etc. If you can't undo the nimble tongue of a merchant, for example, you may want to poison him a little first, and then he will be easier to persuade. And you'll be evil as well. Or if you lead a guard away from his friends, he'll be easier to scare. Hmm. Uh, right. Okay, so you've told me all this. Go away. Uh, you can expect a visit from my father. Well, that's a, that seems like, I mean, that's what he was going to say. Debts must be paid. Wow. Wow. My, my charisma is totally, totally zero. Pay, you drunkard. Uh, I have a strength of three and I totally didn't spend a single point in strength. So, hmm. Huh. Mm, it's kind of encouraging me to do this. I, I could actually just threaten him with the father thing because obviously that's what the dad said if he wouldn't pay, right? So, mm, going with that. If that's the way you want it. I'll tell father you won't pay and you can tell him what you told me. Yeah. Oh, come back. 
Try to get the axe, hammer, and nails back another way. Ah! Time to steal things! Ha ha ha! I can do this. Hello there. Hey, you don't need this axe, do you? Give me, give me axe. Give me, give me axe. How do I do this quietly? Quiet stealing. Hey, stop that! Christ, a thief! Okay, so I failed immediately. Hey, you! Oi! Guard! Get here! That, oh you dear! Miss. Run away! Run away! Unarmed combat! Oh heck! I'm learning fast. Learning things I shouldn't be doing, like stealing. That was evidently a very bad idea. Okay, unarmed combat. Hook. Strong. Slow. Hand strike to the head. I'm gonna fail. Jab. Direct and uh, blow to the face. All right. Kick. F. Kick. Um. Lock on opponents. Oh, cool. There's a there's a Z targeting type thing. Excellent. Uh, unlock is uh, the shift. Okay, block raises and holds the hands. Okay, that's all going to be. I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. This is this is what's going to happen. Uh, this indicator shows roughly how much health your opponent has left. The more wounded he is, the slower he'll attack and react. When the end is near, he may either try to flee or surrender. Okay, icon, uh, oh, your wounds? Okay, hmm, right, so those are my wounds, brilliant. Stamina, great, health, brilliant, and that's all fine. I'm gonna die! You'll have to answer for your law breaking. Look, I'm not even trying. Surrender, G. I surrender. Surrender. I'm not gonna fight them. They're armed. You should have thought twice about what you were doing. That will land you a fat fine. Oh, wonderful. Um, I have been given a secret task. Hmm. Watch your step. I'm in the services of the Lord. That's not true. Don't mess with me. I'm not fleeing. Uh, I don't have enough money. That'll do. That's too much. I don't have that much coin. Yeah. Well, it's a jail cell for you then. Hooray! Two minutes in and I'm already in prison. Wonderful. Uh, agree with the imprisonment. I, I have no choice. Jail it is, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the accommodation for you. Huh. Get moving. Free food. Get stolen goods and show me what else you have on you. What? Are you gonna just steal everything? Are you? Huh. Maybe <sighs> next time you think twice about breaking the law. Well, this went well. Technically, the other guy stole the axe to begin with because he never paid for it. So, you know. Maybe I should have gone with the charisma thing. <laughs> I think I was going to end up in prison. I hope. I might have just skipped a load of quests in that process. What's going on? I think he's a bit late with that. Ah. Seems that uh, that door's not got a chance of staying there for long. Yes. Why is it burning? Who's decided to burn it to a crisp? Was this the safest place in the town? Game over. You have died in f jail. Oh, wonderful. Brilliant. I died immediately. Great. Crikey, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I shall um, come back to this and not maybe not die in the next episode. And uh, I'll see you then. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.